Okay, you guys, I just found something out and um, it's blowing my mind. Some of you may already know this, so don't come in the comments like, <laughs> you didn't know that? No, I didn't. You know why? Because I live in the United States of America where we have been brainwashed and not been taught about real history. Okay, if you guys go to the first video on this playlist, the simulation, I filmed it on January 11th, 2021. And it was showing how all of the times were different on every clock, every digital clock. My boyfriend at the time was working. He had like three computers in front of him. They all said different times. His phone set a different time. He came upstairs to show me my phone set a different time. All the times were messed up. In my comments, people were like, what about analog clocks? As you can see, I have analog clocks. So I went to check those and those were off too. So I was like, there's been a weird shift in the universe because the ball also didn't drop on time at N the New York ball. Um, It was like a minute late or something. I was like, we've definitely shifted dimensions. Something's going on. Look at this. I recently came across a video talking about how the calendar is supposed to have 13 months but the gregorian calendar changed it which is the calendar we follow today so i see this comment come to ethiopia you will see what you are saying we have 13 months within a year so someone commented right now we're in 2014 year of mercury today's date is thursday the 22nd of march 2014 our new year is on the 1st of september and i was like wait they're living in 2014 and we're living in 2022 is that why they say that all time is simultaneous like past present and future we're all living in it at once but then I saw this comment. So if we're in 2014, according to your calendar, 2020 Gregorian calendar corresponds to 2012, your calendar, when the truth started to come out and people woke. So the Mayans were right. COVID really put everyone in 2020. Using your calendar, that means that the year 2012 was the end of the world. <laughs> Mind blown. Okay. So of course I had to look up when our calendar started. It was in 1582. Ethiopian calendar started around AD 400. So they are obviously way more correct than we are. How many years did we lose switching to the Gregorian calendar? Eight years. We're lost in translation when the switch to the Gregorian calendar was made to the 15th, in the 15th century. And if you guys remember, the Mayan calendar says that the end of the world would be on December 21st, 2012. And even according to the Julian calendar, that would be on January 21st, 2020, when COVID was at its peak. So I'm freaking out in the middle of the night and I message my dear friend, JK Ultra, Jen, if you guys aren't following her, please go follow her, who's super into all this stuff. And I was like, girl, I'm sure you know this, but did you know this? And her and I are both freaking out because we didn't know this. So she goes and converts what day is December 21st, 2012 in the Ethiopian calendar? What does it calculate to us? December 31st, 2019. So the last day of the world, according to the Mayan calendar, was on December 21st. 2012 if we had kept up with the original calendar but because we switched it it was december 31st 2019 so in 2020 the new world started so we have already shifted into a new dimension and this is why everything is so different this makes so much sense are you guys freaking out because i'm freaking out